It was in 1872 that a businessman came to Little Falls looking to develop his interests in the booming lumber business. About that time, he checked into a local hotel. Maybe it was the lack of decent accommodations, bed bugs, or a lumpy mattress, but the idea to build his own hotel was born. That man was Clarence Bennett Buckman. C.B. Buckman was born in Doylestown, Pennsylvania on April 1, 1851 and came to Little Falls in 1872. Buckman built a reputation in the lumber business, became a state legislator in 1881, then a state senator in 1883 serving three terms before heading to Washington as a U.S. representative for the 6th Congressional District. He also became a U.S. Marshal, all the while developing his business interest in central Minnesota. His agricultural holdings, Brookdale Farm, grew to 1,400 acres in Buckman Township, but his home was Little Falls. In the summer of 1892, Buckman bought a 100 by 110 foot lot on the corner of 1st Street South and 1st Avenue Southeast and quickly commenced to excavate and build. His dream of a three-story hotel would feature an ornate lobby, an eight-foot winding staircase, a spacious dining hall, meeting rooms, a billiard room, a barber shop, bathrooms, complete laundry with the latest in electrical and plumbing comforts, 54 modern sleeping apartments, and steam heat throughout. The second floor would feature a separate ladies' parlor furnished with three fireplaces and a beautiful view of the Mississippi River across the street. The dining room was repeatedly singled out as a masterpiece of design and beauty, with guests remarking that they had never seen a finer example anywhere. A grand opening for the $20,000 hotel was scheduled for January 1st, 1893. Henry Grunhagen would become manager until July 1893, when ill health forced him to resign. By December 5, 1892, the Little Falls transcript noted that the Hotel Buckman was nearing completion, with oak dominant on the first floor, maple on the second, and pine on the third. December 1892 was a bitterly cold month, so interior plastering came to a sudden halt. A delay in the arrival of the heating plant also exacerbated the progress. Nevertheless, all other woodworking and interior furnishings were completed as scheduled. Weather delays were finally overcome and the Hotel Buckman was slated for a grand opening on February 16, 1893. A lavish ball and banquet was held for 150 invited guests. 
They were treated to an evening of music with 20 orchestral arrangements delighting the guests in the banquet hall, beautifully furnished and decorated for this special event. Guest speakers included the mayor, other esteemed individuals, and Senator C.B. Buckman himself, closing out the festivities. On Saturday, January 19, 1901, at approximately 2.30 a.m., disaster struck. A fire in the basement laundry room quickly spread throughout the building. Local firefighters evacuated the residents without anyone getting hurt, but the building was a total loss. The new Hotel Buckman would be built on the original foundations. Construction began almost immediately with July 1st as the hopeful official opening date. Its external appearance and internal amenities being virtually a copy of the original. Simonette Brothers got the contract to supply all the furnishings and S.R. Snow, the manager at the time of the fire, would assume management duties once again. On July 22nd, 1901, the Hotel Buckman officially opened for the second time with a grand ball and banquet. Again, booked as one of the finest hotels in the entire Northwest, it would grace the Little Falls landscape for decades to come. C.B. Buckman, nearing retirement, would make the hotel his home. The Hotel Buckman had been in the Buckman family since its founding in 1892, the reconstruction in 1901, and throughout the intervening years. A Little Falls Transcript article on July 29, 1947, informed its readers that the Hotel Buckman had been sold to J.W. Randall, its resident manager for the past seven years, 
who immediately signed a 10-year lease. Over the next several decades, the hotel industry suffered many changes, with the Hotel Buckman evolving into monthly apartment rentals. By the spring of 1977, after 85 years of gracing the Little Falls downtown landscape, it closed its doors. For almost two decades, the fate of the Buckman Hotel lay in limbo. A group of historically dedicated individuals proposed a carefully restored senior living center for the site. Once proper financing was arranged, a careful reconstruction of the renowned Buckman Hotel was commenced, with architectural detail to its initial grandeur and historic elements given highest priority. Remodeling over the previous decades had removed some of the initial characteristics. These details, meticulously researched, were given top priority to restore its historic architecture, all the while maintaining the most modern safety techniques. Special consideration was given to the entrance, the lobby, the grand staircase, the dining room, the parlor, and original windows and entries. The Buckman was reopened on March 30th, 1995. So, it was after decades of providing comfortable accommodations for travelers passing through central Minnesota, the Buckman evolved into senior congregate living.
It has also annexed the former Little Falls Fire Station and City Hall and developed it into additional apartments. The Buckman now has a total of 27 one-bedroom apartments. Today, 130 years after its initial grand opening, the Buckman Hotel once again proudly reminds us all of its glory days at the advent of the 20th century. <music>